get them girls loose, loose. You don't get the world loose, loose. You don't get money, Mr. Worldwide. But I do, I do. You don't get them girls loose, loose. You don't get the world loose, loose. You don't get money, loose, loose. But I do. Hey guys, what's going on? Jimper Gaming here with another episode of our center fielder, Derek Lloyd, on the road to the show mode on MLB 13 The Show. So in last episode, we got our first hit, ended up being a Grand Slam, so that was great. We got a couple games done, and then we found out that we were benched because someone came off the DL, so that wasn't very good. And then I simulated a week, and if I do remember correctly, I looked, and I think that we actually did worse um, on when uh, we let the computer play, so that's... um. That's alright, but okay. So, uh, there you see that we were benched, and then we were nearing a promotion. So now this, uh, this week, or couple weeks, or whatever, our current goals are to raise our contact against righties, and to increase our drag bunting ability. And I think last time we had bunting ability, so that's a little strange. So hopefully, um, I guess maybe it can help us, probably not, but we'll see. So here we go, uh, I'm just gonna show you a quick clip of BP. And I'm actually going to hand it over to the broadcast again, just like I did in the first episode, because they actually do another prospect spotlight. You'll see that I've actually been pretty hot, and I don't think the computer, like I said before, I don't think it's helped me when I simulated it. So, hopefully we should be able to uh, do good when we actually do play. And like I said before, I'm not going to be simulating anything during the majors when I get there, though for now, it's okay that I simulate so we can get there as fast as we can. And we can have more time or more episodes as a major leaguer. So in just a moment, I'm going to hand it over to the broadcast. So enjoy that, and I will see you guys in just a moment. So enjoy. And we welcome you back to today's minor league pregame show as we close in on AA Eastern League Baseball with our Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Derek Lloyd is our man to watch. And he's got to be getting a little frustrated. He's doing everything that's been asked of him, but still stuck here at AA due to a log jam at the higher levels of the organization. Well, I agree. It is frustrating. But if he keeps playing well, then it's truly a matter of time before a move up. If the organization has said they're pleased with his development and performance at this level and that they'd like to test him at the higher levels. But it's just a matter of finding a way to get him there without causing other roster issues. I'm sure they'll figure it out, though. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. All right, so there you see that uh, they are recognizing that we are hot, though there is a bit of a log jam in the system. So hopefully we can make our way up, but it uh, looks like we might be traded or something just by the looks of that. And I hope you got that note before to lower the volume a little bit, because I tried to lower the volume of the game audio, though I don't know why it wouldn't let me. So hopefully you did not uh, <laughs> just hear the, <coughs> the volume blast. So anyway, we are going to play our first game here in this episode. There you see the nice animation that they added into the game of the players un uh, entering the field. So I think I'm playing a different position today. No, I'm playing center field. I'm going to be playing some different positions in this episode because I was on the bench, or I am on the bench now. So I'm hitting 7th instead of ninth, though the pitcher is batting. So in the first at-bat here, I'm going to hit this to the second baseman. Decent play there, and he will get me out pretty easily there. And not too much of a problem there for the fielder. So now we're winning 2-1. to one. It's the top of the 4th on an 0-2 count, and Lloyd will get struck out looking on the 0-2 cutter inside. So now it's tie game, guy on first, uh, one out, maybe a double play situation, but he will just take this into right field, and it looks like it'll be extra bases as the right fielder will have to go to the warning track to get the ball, and he will slide into second base without too much of a problem. Probably could have made it standing up, though he decided to go with the head first slide. So anyway, we are losing 5-3, now it's the eighth inning, and this is sky to right field, and will it be enough? Yes, it will! And that is a home run for Lloyd. That is his second home run of the young season. And a little bit deeper than his last home run. Maybe not a deep fly ball. Though definitely not as cheap as his first one. That was 344 feet. So this one though, good job by Lloyd. Just pulling that ball. That was really skied into right field. That was a high fly ball. It's hard to tell if that was a home run or not when I actually played. 
So here you go, you'll see a, uh, looks like it was up, uh, maybe at the, um, at the letters maybe around there, and he just took that into right field. Great job by Lloyd there. And now later on, it will be the 10th inning tie game. It's an 0-2 count. Can he come in with the clutch? Maybe get another home run or something? No, he will not. Breaking ball out. It was a 12-seam curveball. Strike three. So pretty good day for Lloyd. Two for five with the home run. Though that strikeout at the end definitely was not good. So now we're going to enter a training here. It is a fielding training with a reaction time. Not going to put too much emphasis on this. I'm only going to show a couple plays at the beginning. Just so you know what the training is. And then I'll show you what I benefited from it. And really not too much. I'm not going to show too much of training. So I'm just going to show a couple plays like I did last time. And here you see just some basic plays. You know, they get kind of hard towards the ends. Though really it's just boosting your reaction time. And maybe a little bit of your fielding ability. So you have to just get okay or better. 10 out of the 15 times. Which is really not that hard for okay or better. And you'll see very similar play here. And it's just boosting my reaction time a little bit, so I'm not going to do all of the trainings. It depends on what it benefits. Like, if I, if my speed is a 99 down the future, I'm not going to really need to do a speed training, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how I'm going to run the trainings, at least. So right now, I'm pretty much doing all of them, because I want to become a 5-2 five uh, player, which would be pretty cool. Those speed and power are main priorities, like I said before. So there you see our reaction time went up 34, and our fielding went up 3. Good to have that reaction time as a center fielder. So anyway, next game, we are winning one nothing now in the bottom of the second. It's an 0-2 count, and this one he will swing and miss at strike three. That was an outside pitch fastball. So now later in the fourth inning here, we are winning 2 nothing. He sees a pitch he likes, and we'll just take this into right field right out of the reach of the first baseman. Well, really was in the reach, though it won't count as an error, though definitely a play that you should make if you're the first baseman. And pretty clean hit there, and really we've had the luck going our way, or the better end of things here. We had the infield hit before when it hit the pitcher right in the wrist or the arm, whatever that was. Plays like these, you know, plays that diving players just miss. But hey, it take what you get. You know, we got a couple home runs in addition to that. And here, I forget if we got a stolen base in the second episode. Though here we will try to get a stolen base. I don't know if it's our first or not, like I said. Though we are going to have an attempt here. Pretty good jump, not great. Though the catcher makes just a terrible throw. So we will make it in really easy. Really going to be stealing a lot here just because double-A catchers usually not great. I mean, they could be, but not usually the best of the best, you know. So, there you will see in just a moment there. Pretty good jump, not a great jump, nothing to uh, cry over or anything. <laughs> Though that catcher by, uh, the throw by the catcher was definitely not great. So later on now, we are actually going to try to steal third, getting a little greedy there. So luckily, the hitter will actually swing away there and it will work as a hit and run. And what is this? Wow. That is my first glitch with this game. Usually this game isn't too glitchy. And you'll see in the replay there that we just went right through the catcher. So pretty funny glitch there. I saw a glitch on SGU, Sports Game Universe, when there was like another player in the dugout from the other team. That was pretty funny. This one, he just slides right into him, doing a head first slide there. So now we're winning 3 nothing. It's bases loaded. One out. What can he do? He'll hit it to the shortstop. Six, four, three, double play. So double De uh, Derek Lloyd, I was about to say David Lloyd, he grounds into a double play, now it's the bottom of the eighth, and this is hit pretty deep, I think, yeah, no, 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 that was just, that was just average, uh, average depth there to left field, and if you played this game, then you know that these cameras can be a little misleading with the new views, and now it's 3-3 in the bottom of the tenth, guy on second, one out, and Ken Lloyd show the clutch, and drive in the run and get a walk-off hit, we will see, and this is hit line drive, splits the outfielders into left center field, and that is going to score a runner. Lloyd's going to second, but that does not matter right now. So good job by Lloyd. That is great. We win the game with David Lloyd getting the walk-off hit. So there you see the runner will score. And even though it's double A, it's still pretty cool to get a walk-off win. The Richmond Flying Squirrels, love the name still, will win the game. And there you see David Lloyd getting crowded by his teammates. Great job. Great job job in the clutch especially so there you see just a clean line drive nothing cheap there you go no excuses or anything that was just a good hit into left center field and really the guy was on second so no problem scoring either and we will actually be the player of the game so there you see they will give you a short little montage there Derek Lloyd in center field he will get the game winning single good game for him there you see a couple of uh, nice presentations there that uh, line drive that just got past the first baseman. So, 
pretty cool there. Good game by Lloyd. And sadly, though, I was a little disappointed in this. They didn't show the interview, which, I mean, I feel like every other game they did show. Though, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm okay with the player of the game. So there you go, two for five with a run batted in and a stolen base. So we end up winning this game four to three, thanks to Derek Lloyd's clutch hitting. So, thanks to him, now the Flying Squirrels will get a win, and that is good for them, even though it's, you know, double A, who cares? But, you know, like I said, still cool to get a walk-off, and now we are going to go ahead and play another game here, and now he's starting in left field, so a little bit of a new atmosphere out here, and now this play is going to be maybe, uh, oh wow, that was, uh, not expecting that, so he ends up catching that, it looked like an average play, Though he ended up making it a little harder than it needs to be. So now this pitch he is going to take right up the middle. Clean base hit there. Just a ground ball that uh, splits the middle infielders. And almost hit the second base bag. It was uh, pretty much perfect timing there. And I think in a moment you'll actually see a nice replay. And really I'm trying to get down that timing. A lot of our hits have been pulled. Which I keep on saying. Though there you see a pretty good swing there by Lloyd. Just taking that pitch right up the middle. Clean hit there. And not too much trouble. Let's see. Wow, that, that almost hit the second base big. Just maybe like a couple feet over. That would have been a uh, interesting play. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat a little bit. It's uh, a little scratchy still after I got over that cold. So now, guy on first. That's us with one out. Maybe a double play situation. But we're going to try to avoid that. Great jump by Lloyd. Not even a chance. That was actually a pretty good throw too. They will not get him out. And that's an easy stolen base for Derek Lloyd. And really just trying to beat up these double-A catchers, like I said before. Now you see a look of disappointment, like, wow, he's fast. <laughs> Not even a great speed rating yet, we're like 60, you know. So now this jump is just crazy good. That was a great jump by Lloyd. And he steals He steals third. So now we're losing 3 nothing, and I'm in the field, left field, like uh, you saw earlier. It's the top of the six now. We'll see if we can uh, not mess up uh, this play after that uh, last play was a little weird. So pretty nice catch, running catch by David Lloyd. And basically any catch that's slightly above average is like really good for him because of these new fielding controls. But I'm definitely getting used to it. So now it's 3 nothing. We are losing in the bottom of the six with one out. And he'll take this pitch into right field just like every other hit. <laughs> You know, so that will split the first baseman and the second baseman. And does this look familiar to you guys? Because it looks familiar for me uh, to me. Because that is another stolen base for Derek Lloyd. Definitely getting a little greedy. You know, I'm definitely going to be uh, getting a few caught stealings after all this. And I had some trouble in the beginning, though. So maybe it's, you know, paying off now. <laughs> so now it's bases load, two outs. And they are winning 3-2. to two, So we really have to save this run here. And this is a deep left field. Can we save it, though? Is it a Grand Slam? And no. Yes, yes, it is. We know we did not catch it. And it is a Grand Slam. This one is skied into center field. Though this will be an easy out. Not necessarily easy, though. And pretty routine fly ball for the center fielder. And still upset about that Grand Slam. I, I don't think I was even right next to the wall either for uh, jumping on that. So a little upset there. The later on now, it's first and third. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs, three and two counts, and let's see what he can do. Can he be clutch again? No, he will. Well, kind of. He does get a walk. Maybe not necessarily clutch for that. Though, good job by Lloyd having a good eye, which uh, I don't have a great one in this game. Though, hey, I guess I'll take that, you know. Definitely doing good for my team. Now, it's 7-4 with the bases loaded, and we end up not scoring any runs. And there you see I was 2-4 for four in that game, so pretty good game there. Definitely getting my singles, definitely uh, not just a home run hitter, so that's pretty cool to see. So we definitely uh, we definitely did really good this episode, uh, also last episode, uh, so we're definitely carrying a uh, hot streak, and hopefully we can continue that. So next episode, we'll continue on in AA and maybe try to get to AAA. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes, and until then, this is Juniper Gaming, signing out.